You've come to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school. You've come to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you decided to join us here today. In today's Sabbath school, we're going to be talking more about Noah and the ark. So I hope you brought your friends and family with you so that they can learn more about Jesus through this story. I hope you have a blessed Sabbath day, boys and girls, and I'll see you next time. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for blessing us and keeping us and watching over us and protecting us. Thank you for showing us love and mercy and allowing us to share all the love you have for us with others. Please bless us to help others to know more about you every day. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Today's memory verse is, Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Genesis 6 verse 8. Today's devotion is based on 1 Corinthians 9.22. Some are weak. I've become weak so I might lead them to Christ. I've become like every person so in every way I might lead some to Christ. Jesus is for everyone. There's plenty of room in the kingdom of heaven for every person ever born. Jesus went out of his way to reach people wherever they, are, they were. He did everything that could have been done to, to offer hope. Jesus knew how to reach people. How amazing is it to think that God's son was able to relate to all people on a level that no one else in history ever could. You can help lead others to Jesus. Show kindness and be at peace with everyone so they can see the love of Jesus shine through you. Oh Jesus, let your perfect love shine through me, especially in hard times and in difficult situations. Amen. Hi boys and girls, it's song service time. Our first song is, if you're happy and you know it. If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands If you're happy and you know what clap your hands
Noah and the Ark, based on Genesis chapter 6 through chapter 9. A long time ago, people were very mean to each other. They forgot about God. They did not love God. This made God very sad. But Noah was a good man. Noah and his family loved God. God had a big plan. He told Noah, I'm going to start over. God told Noah to build a boat. The boat was called an ark. And Noah did what God said. God said, I will save you. I will save your family and two of each animal. Noah built the boat. God sent the animals. Hi cats, hi dogs, hi bears, hi birds. There was food, there was family, there was God's animals. One day, God closed the door. Then God sent a big storm. Rain began to fall. It rained and rained. The ark rocked and rocked back and forth. It bumped up and down and up and down. Noah prayed. Noah's family prayed. The animals watched. God took care of Noah. God took care of his family. God kept all of them safe. The rain fell for days and days and days. The earth was covered in water. Shh, Noah said, something was different. It was quiet. The rain had stopped. The ark was still. Noah said, Dove, please find land. But Dove did not find land. Noah said, Dove, try again. Dove did find land. One day, the ark bumped into land. Slowly, the water started drying up. God said, time to go. He helped Noah open the ark. The animals came out to play. God said, see the rainbow? It means I will not cover the earth with water again. I promise. I hope you enjoyed this version of Noah and the Ark. It's based on the beginner's Bible. And again, it's found in Genesis chapter six through nine. Have a great day, boys and girls. Today, on our Christmas Fun Facts, we're going to learn the real meaning of the Christmas wreath. Every Christmas wreath is more than just a decoration. It is a special reminder of Jesus, the reason for our celebration. The circle of a Christmas wreath is a never-ending ring, a reminder of eternal love from our Lord and King. The Christmas wreath is a sign of welcome, inviting all to enter in, a reminder of Christ's invitation for all to come to him. The middle of a Christmas wreath is a bare and empty space, a reminder of what life would be without Christ's love and grace. So each time you see a Christmas wreath hanging from a door, may your heart rejoice in the one that Christmas is truly for. This was written by Holly Girth. Thank you for listening to the real meaning of the Christmas wreath. And I hope that you learned something about Christmas today and can share it with someone. Bye boys and girls. See you next week for more Christmas fun facts. Welcome to craft time boys and girls. In today's craft, you're going to need scissors, you will also need a piece of red construction paper, a black marker, a glue stick, 
and you will need some cut up pieces of green tissue paper and a few pieces of yellow tissue paper. The last thing you'll need is that white paper pleat that looks just like that with the ridges. So first, we're gonna draw out a bow. You start with a circle, then two triangles, one on the right and one on the left. Then you draw the bottom of your bow. A line down, a little mountain up, and then another line. I'm so sorry that the camera keeps going out of focus, but don't worry, it'll come back clear. Now let's take your paper plate, fold it in half, nice and smooth on the crease. Grab your scissors and cut out the middle. Once you cut out the middle, you're just gonna put that middle piece to the side. We don't need it anymore, but I'm sure you can find another craft that you can use it for. Okay, now let's unfold the plate and put that to the side so that we can cut the bow out of the red construction paper. Cut along with me as I speed up the camera and put on some music. Okay, so now that our bow is cut out, let's set that to the side and we're gonna grab our glue stick and just start putting the glue in one section, a lot of the glue. Don't worry about it getting on the table, but make sure to put a lot of glue in one section at a time. If you put it on the whole plate, the problem is it will dry before you can get to it. So one section at a time and then start putting your tissue paper on layer by layer. So as you do this with me, again, I'm gonna speed up the camera. Let's have some fun doing it together. gotten that done let's glue on the bow now you're gonna put a lot of glue but only at the top part of the bow and then you're going to just place your bow where you think it'll look nice I want mine right here smush it down really well and there's your wreath I hope you enjoyed today's project here are the final results
It's prayer time, boys and girls. Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, thank you for blessing and keeping us. Thank you for watching over us and protecting us. Thank you for being with our family and our friends and for showing them love. Thank you for blessing us with a place to sleep and food to eat. Please continue to watch over our friends and our family and keep them safe. Please help those who help others and teach others new things. Please continue to give us the things that we need and to help others learn more about you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.